Hola, amigos. Como estas? Oh, dear God. Hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. Did you see that pig explode? Between you and me, I've been partaking in some taste tests during my shift, so everything is a little blurry at the moment. I did hear a loud boom, but I figured it was just a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm. Um, what can you tell us about this place? Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is something for everyone. Guns, armor, food, meds, entertainment, and most importantly, booze! I love booze. If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. One thing's <clears throat> for sure. There's something weird going on here. What can you tell us about Flab? Flab the Inhaler is the man who is large and in charge of the bazaar. <laughs> and I ain't kidding you when I say large. From what I've seen, he's always in his office, just up the stairs. Uh, what did you mean by something weird? Ah, uh, I don't know. I suppose everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. Just don't know quite what. Um, I'll have a drink. Only the finest drinks on Earth. Uh, you just sell booze, which makes sense. I don't need that. Goodbye, sir. I was hoping there'd be a special item or something. I got this soul for that. Yes, he's wearing a Nixon mask. Get your protective gear here. Alright, let's see. Hi there. A reek of tobacco and tannins uh, surrounds the wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewed-down cigarette stub for a fresh one, lights it before she speaks. Ah, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. Uh, can we see your wares? That's why I'm here. Oh wow, you sell lots of big beefy stuff. Armor plus nine. Wow, that one has some of these are not very good for how much it is. Tank legs. <clears throat> well, if it's if that's almost the same armor, that means we must have modded the hell out of it. Cold resist, energy resistance. So, let me see. How much have we modded this? It has plus three armor. So that would be slightly better. But not much. It would be two better. Two more armor, and that's it. I don't know if that's worth it right now. Hello. Welcome to Talbot's Tannery. You're, you're Talbot? Right there, she takes a long drive of cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. What do you sell? Kind of depends on who's buying. For you, mm, leather goods, protective gear, armor. Up to you if you want to deflect stabbings or look like a badass. Either way, I have you covered. All right, goodbye. <coughs> <coughs> Don't smoke, lady. Wonder if I can get this in black. Hello there. Oh, wow. Are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left... Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Since you left? Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome! Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. Would you like a tour? Sure, give us a tour. Really? Uh, okay. This way. Sure. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quariosities, a collection of the rarest of the... Well, 
It's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. <laughs> This better be cool. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., a fellow game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and, well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. Okay. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! You can choose what <laughs> color you want the screen to be, red or green. <laughs> this is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made! The legendary Mighty Mitt! Mighty I Mitt. love the Mighty Mitt! It's so bad! <laughs> this is a genuine megascope. The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not gonna try to take it off. I might break it. Um. This is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. I want it that. It can tell your fortune, but you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Wish I had some. Wait, I have a token for that. This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. This is a slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even... Made it past Telluride today. Found a what? guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's Interrupted cold him. and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven... I didn't realize there was a tape in there. ...just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Hopefully it continues. It's program right. He'll continue his little speech. Oh no! The ro robot slumps in place, eaten by rust. Almost life is safe for the faint pinpoint glows in its pupils. Hey, you functional? A class reply in e uneven static noise. Its head twitching like a clockwork bird. It's ground the, the trick of realism. Hits the blast when the rivals and paneling at its throat. Right, hopefully that guy is not broken. He, oh darn the Aw, oh, we're gonna I don't know if that was the end of the tour or not. Hopefully it wasn't. Well, we're gonna need some more nerd stuff. We need one more point of nerd stuff for him to do it. Um, so next level up, he could grab it. Well, let's try saving. And then reloading. Maybe that will fix it. Actually, we saved two minutes ago. So let's try that. This might work. Hopefully that was enough. Let's hope that was enough. So I want to hear the rest of the lore. Yeah, I really like when... I hate when games interrupt someone talking when you loop something or you move too far ahead and it cuts off someone's good dialogue it's like ah, I'll let it finish
This is a slicer dicer, the scariest oh, robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, Yay. if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. What? Okay, he fixed himself. These Yay. are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Cat Boy, and Star Intruder. Cat Boy? This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well-loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. Uh... And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Well, um, let's look at that display case. Display case contains an energy weapon that has been fitted with a high sophisticated pre war scope. Looks massively crafted and carefully maintained. Inspect the case. Small plaque reads Zap Pal, accurate to a single pixel, never missed with, that, with a mega scope. Glass case does not appear to be locked. You carefully lift the glass and take the weapon. Hmm. Mega scope sniper rifle. <laughs> oh yes. And what else had a little yeah, I cut on it. Yeah, a little bit of a thief there. Try the VR device. Uh, put on the headset. Helmet doesn't quite fit right. Slopes and slashes crash your face. Putting the alignment uh, on your nose at risk. Text starts scrolling across darkness, banning your eyes. Select entrance. Display stutters and moves. Select your first. Camera pans across the large entrance curved into the mountainside. Tunnels blanketed in, in complete darkness. Three moments to feed cuts. Select checkpoint alpha. Camera moves along a road towards the military checkpoint. Camouflage figures stand with their backs towards you. They turn to you, but their faces are cloaked in shadows. Their forms dissolve in polygons for the word rebooting flashes twice. Hiking trail. Camera suits round behind the security checkpoint. There is a there it moves up an in, 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 innocuous trail. The path is nearly hidden in snow. You move across it. The trail starts to waver under your feet. A signpost floats up in the surface. It reads error. Slight command the camera blinks in a room filled with high-tech equipment every single screen reads a strange game in blinking letters figures move in the shadows uh, turning towards you one by one screens change to error 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 you're not the right user and arm blares and the feed cuts out read error log dear user please be informed this vr headset is designed to be used only in the cheyenne mountain complex usage outside cheyenne mountain complex after security measures that may show up as content glitches Take off headset. Move the helmet and blink against the glare of the world. What the fuck? <laughs> um. What? Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Um, let's talk. Uh, sure. Your name is Quarex, and you live in... With the taupe cans in Arizona? You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. Anyway, not me. Nope. You're sweating a lot, a lot, Quarex. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. <laughs> I, uh, okay, fine. I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Happy now? Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Why did you come to Colorado? Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, well, they didn't like that at all. I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me. But then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left had to leave all my cool stuff behind, even the 3DO. But there's lots of cool stuff around here, too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. 
If you were on the run from shady characters, why didn't you change your name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. <laughs> I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. <laughs> What can you tell us about the bazaar? It's great! There's so much cool stuff at all the merchant stalls. I add to my collection all the time. Uh, some spooky stuff has been happening lately, though. Monsters are coming up from the tunnels at night to snatch people. It's like Chud in real life. Talk to you later. Bye, Rangers. Thanks for visiting me. No, thank you. A lovingly rendered scene of the Scottish Highlands flickers in 16 pixelated colors on the screen of your computer. Poly polyphonic, polyphonic chorus of beeps forms into a Gaelic tune as you read the title of the game. The Bard's Tale 4, Barrows Deep. Very nice. Play the game. You encounter fiendish cultists, solve devious puzzles, and compose magical songs, but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epiphet. You've been killed by 99 Berserkers. Bard's Tale 4. Remains on screen. Play the game. As before, you're working through much of the land surrounding Skara Bray, but you are uh, slain before you reach the end. You've been killed by 99 Berserkers. Uh huh. This is great. Okay, let's. Oh, wait, uh, what's your name level? Hmm. Let's level up your small arms. So they will one day be big arms. Wait, you get an attribute point too. Uh, let's go. Oh, um. Awareness? So you can hit stuff? Everyone kind of has to max out awareness so they have a high chance to hit. Inside the glass confinement, Tarzan bears its rictus grin to the world. Um, an eye cracked, the other throbbing like a flesh wound. There's a conspicuous red button beside the words, press here to receive fortune. Um, press the button. Hard to main stoic to hear a shrill grinding sound. Tiny scrap of paper stamped with regular writing emerges from a slot. The red sun will rise from the east and it will never fall. You will all burn under its light. Insert Tarzan token. Tarzan to move is something about him feels more alive. You feel us tingle in the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below his torso inscribed with uh, calligraphic lettering. Haste makes Jack a dull boy, never to roll down the hill. What was that? Precognition. Oh. Oh, wait, it's the person who reads it. I don't want that. I don't want her having it. Wait, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't want her having it. So only the person that reads it gets the, the bonus thing. All right, let's keep leveling you up. Let's go. All right, I, the main player, will read the fortunes. The five finger discount can cost all five fingers. Limit yourself to three fingers. What? I didn't get a I didn't get a perk that time.
I got scammed. Well, I want the perk, damn it. A free perk is a... Okay. Level her up. Like... Give her some awareness. Okay, click my character. We're going to save. You are supreme. The chicks will cream. Grease lightning. It's random every time. <laughs> it's a camcorder. I, I don't even know what it is. Sony with some numbers and letters. I don't know. You look fantastic. Well, that's not from the camera. It's just from me being amazing. <coughs> Perk learn fortune cookie. What? Fortune cookie. Con plus 15. Woo! A uh, well-fed warrior can survive any hardship. That is amazing. It's a free perk. Just free extra health. Health is always lovely. Now that is perfect. God, now I got stuck in my head. Go green London, go green up the cooler. Go green London, go green London. Um, can I play these? Defend the earth against aliens and space debris. Eat your way through the maze, but don't get caught by the poltergeist. <laughs> the fame, famous arcade game where you clean up the streets with your fist. Street Fighter, uh, Space Invaders, and Pac-Man. Very nice. Are you functional? Kick the robot. Gene scissors four with a blow sun and savage shoulders rolling. Some of the circuitry is brain it probably still believes it has arms and blades. Well, when I have enough nerd stuff, we can probably come back and repair that and it'll attack and kill me and it'll be great. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flab. I'm tired of shopping. All right, I'm going to talk to Flab. Wait, Doctor. Why, hello. Name's Hirsch. Love Hirsch. But you can just call me Dr. Cold Cuts. I, <laughs> what do you need? I am not calling you that. Why would you? You patch us up? Uh, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first, and I'll fix you right up. Twenty-five dollars. Fine. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Why is your name Cold Cuts? Oh, it used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat, <laughs> uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well. I uh, inherited the position. Mm, goodbye. See ya. I'll be back in a bit. You're weird. Right, let's go talk to Flab. Come and speak with Flab. Oh my god. Surprise. You are the fattest vampire I've ever seen in my life.